Hey everyone, today we're going to create and use frequency separation in Photoshop and the idea is to create two separate layers, one being a texture layer, the other being a color and tone layer and you can work with each. So let's jump right into it and duplicate our background image. If you're using a Mac, you can hit Command J. I'm doing that twice to get two copies. If you're using a PC, it's Control J twice. And the next thing we want to do is turn off this top layer and go to this one here, layer one. And we go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we want to find that spot where the textures sort of disappear and the image has an overall haze. So let's go right about there. Looks pretty good. Hit OK. And we're done with that layer. So now we go up to this one here. You can turn it on. And we go to Image, Apply Image. And this is where we change things up. So here in the layer, we have to select layer one copy. So now it's sort of selecting this layer here and the blending mode we want to subtract. And the idea is to subtract that layer one from our top layer and that's sort of separating the two textures and colors. And this is very important here, the scale and offset. You want to make sure it's two and the offset is 128. Okay. All right, now you can see the image sort of poking through and now to the blend mode here and we want to change this to linear light. So that's the top copy, linear light. So now if we go to this layer, layer one, we can start using frequency separation. So if we go up to our lasso tool right here and choose around feather 20 pixels, it depends on the size of your image, how much you're going to be using. 20 is a good general rule and then you can go down to the areas that you want to correct. So I see some makeup right here, so you want to circle that go like that and now you can go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and if we increase this here you can see it smooths it right out so you hit OK and you can just keep going so let's just go sort of big spot here and go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and we've already got it set to the same there you can adjust it as you go on the fly and let's do one more here and this is super smooth just so you guys can see it at home filter Blur, Gaussian Blur, and you can just keep doing this all day. And let's group these together, Shift, Click, and Command G, and let's zoom right in. Here's before, and there's after. You can see right here the color of the skin is blended nicely and retains the texture of the skin in the pores and everything there. So again, let's check it out, before, and there's after. So that's it. That's how to create and use frequency separation in Photoshop. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.